So I don't know if you guys heard about this, but I think it's pretty funny and also pretty important. Uh, over in San Francisco, there is a new law that has now been proposed by an official called the Karen Act. No, this is not a meme. I'm not kidding when I say that. This is a real thing. This is actually happening. And honestly, I think that it might be a good thing because, you know, we've seen so many of these videos of Karens out in public acting complete fools, making a complete idiot out of themselves, and just in reality, inconveniencing other people all around them for doing literally nothing wrong. Now, one of the ones that kind of led to this, I guess, getting created was the Central Park woman who, like, nearly strangled her dog out and was, like, calling the police on a black guy who was doing some bird watching. And I only say that because she made such a big deal about it, about how she was going to call the police on, say, there was an African-American man threatening her. So we have calls like that, and we have videos like that going around where they they genuinely just don't care about other people to the point that, like, they, uh, they'll just actually call the police on them for doing literally nothing wrong inconvenience them, hassle them, harass them, bully them, and, uh, you know, it's kind of ridiculous. And as, as fun as it is to make fun of these people, as fun as it is to make fun of them for the things that they're doing and how much of a fool they look like, at the end of the day, what they do really does have real-world impact. It really is actually a bad thing that does need to be stopped. And I'm hoping, personally, that acts like the Karen Act hopefully try to mitigate some of that and try and push some of that away from being a possibility with these people. Because in all reality, you know, there's just been too many cases of this, and it's only really a matter of time before somebody actually gets, like, seriously hurt. Because some Karen decided to act a complete idiot because, I don't know, she didn't get her breadsticks from the pizza place quick enough. But before we get into the video, I do want to remind you guys that I know that over half of you are watching multiple videos but have not subscribed, so why don't you go ahead and do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure to leave a like, and also, tell me what you think down below in the comments. Now with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video, so... It may soon be illegal to make discriminatory, racially biased 911 calls in San Francisco. The Karen Act, Caution Against Racially Exploitative Non-Emergencies, was introduced on Tuesday at a San Francisco Board of Supervisors meeting by Supervisor Shaman Walton. The ordinance's name is a twist on Karen, the name social media gives people making racially biased 911 calls. And it's not just Karen. There's also names like Becky, which has also come to symbolize a stereotype of whiteness, and Susan and Chad. Now I want to go ahead and correct the article here. Karen is not just a word used for racially uh, charged, bi uh, biased also 911 calls. It's just honestly kind of become a nickname that people give to mostly middle-aged uh, women who go around on social media, uh, on video, acting complete idiots because of literally the most inconvenient things. Once again, you know, they didn't get their breadsticks in 13 minutes at the pizza place and, you know, they freak out or literally they don't put a leash on their own dog and someone asks them politely to do so. Anything like that, you know, wearing a mask in public, it just, it really comes down to the most ridiculous things that they throw these hissy fits over. So, I mean, it's mostly correct, but not really all the way there, you know what I'm saying? Karens are just in general bad people. Uh, at least from what we can see on the video, and it just, I, I think that in all reality, like, it should all kind of be addressed, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I never really saw the day coming that we would have uh, an act in law that was being proposed that was based pretty much entirely on internet memes, but the Karen Act is actually here, and uh, I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty sure in California it's already illegal to make, like, false police reports and calls and whatnot, so, I mean, it is kind of beating a dead horse, but I mean, I guess this one is to target, like, racially motivated situations. The ordinance is similar to the statewide AB 1550 bill introduced by California Assemblyman Rob Bonta making it unlawful and accountable for a caller to quote, fabricate false racially biased emergency reports. So I guess this has already been done before, but using 911 as a tool for your prejudice against marginalized communities is unjust and wrong, Bonta tweeted. Racially motivated 911 calls are not a new occurrence across the country in spite of recent upticks following the death of George Floyd, an unarmed black man killed in police custody in Minneapolis. Now, I gotta agree, and I, I think that it's just wrong to do in general. Like, I mean, making false police reports, it, it's not only just wrong, but it's also dangerous because, I mean, you know, like that woman in Central Park, she was like, she was on the phone like screaming at the end of the call, just screaming like, oh my god, he's threatening me, just screaming like that. I mean, police might pull up, you know, thinking that some woman's getting killed out in the middle of the park or something, guns drawn, and the dude makes, like, one bad, like, wrong move, I guess, with his hands, or something crazy, and next thing you know, he gets hit nine times with the service pistol. Like, 
it's not really something to be playing around about. It's very serious. It, we're, we're talking about it can be life and death. I mean, and, and we're going to see it. I hate to say it, but we're going to see it. Considering how this is happening so frequently, it's going to take one false police call from one of these Karens because, I don't know, a guy accidentally bumped into her in a McDonald's or something going to take his trash to the trash can. She's going to call and say, oh my god, he's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me over my McNuggets. And they're going to pull up thinking that there's like a fucking nutty scene going on in the middle of McDonald's with the guns drawn and they're going to kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? And, and it could be someone completely innocent, you know? It's going to happen. You know, with how often this is going on, it's going to happen. Whether it be racially motivated or just because a Karen decided to be a bitch, we're going to see it happen at some point. And I, I, I just think that people should be held way more accountable than they are for making these false calls. Just a few weeks ago, a white hotel employee in North Carolina called the police on a guest, a black woman and her children who were using the hotel swimming pool, and in May, a white woman called 911 on a black man who was birdwatching in New York's Central Park. Bonta said that the intent of AB 1550 isn't to discourage Californians in real danger from calling 911. I mean, yeah. But, I mean, you gotta see, like, the situation in Central Park. The dude was literally just birdwatching. I mean, that's, like, one of the most innocent things I can think of someone doing, right? He did not deserve to have the police called on him for asking Karen to put a leash on her dog. It just, it's not something that needs to happen, you know what I'm saying? And it's ridiculous, and it just says enough that Karens think that, like, they're so above everything that they can use the police as weapons against people, or at least attempt to. Like, you, you just see it all the time. And in reality, that is kind of just part of being a Karen, because, like, Karens think that they're above everybody else. They, they don't really have any humility, you know what I'm saying? They, they just, you know, they don't care. It doesn't really matter what the situation is, they just think that, you know, the police are automatically going to be on their side, and that everything they do is okay, when in reality, you know, they are actually committing a crime in a lot of places, and, I mean, they can be putting people's lives at risk. I mean, this isn't stuff to be playing around about when it comes down to it, you know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't just be calling the police on people for no reason, and thinking that that's just going to smooth over well and everything. This bill could protect millions of Californians from becoming targets of hate and prevent the weaponization of our law enforcement against communities of color, he said in an online release. Racist false reports put people in danger and waste resources, the ordinance's co-author Supervisor Matt Haney tweeted. I mean, yeah, of course, like, it can be used against people of color or whatever, but I mean, I think that it, it's just bad in general. I mean, even if they're calling, not even really over, like, like uh, you'll see Karens as far back as, like, 20 years ago, calling the cops on kids for skateboarding on the sidewalk, or being too loud in the driveways, playing basketball. Or playing freeze tag out in the street, you know what I'm saying? It's not like this is really a new occurrence. This has been happening for a long time, and they they don't. I I don't think they really care. You know what I'm saying? I think they'll just do it to anybody. Karens are just simply hateful people, and yeah, a lot of them probably are racist. But I mean, in order to really be a Karen, you kind of just have to be a hateful person in general. So I think that that's what it really comes down to. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've met a lot of Karens in my life, and I've seen them do a lot of crazy things to pretty much anyone that they can get their hands out on, simply because that's just how they behave. They, they don't care about how other people feel. They don't care about the law. As long as they can use it in their favor, they're not really worried about it. Though making a false police report is a misdemeanor or a felony offense in many states, including California, accountability is lacking for making racially biased calls to law enforcement. Other cities have already begun the process to pass similar legislation. Los Angeles City Councilman Curran Price introduced a similar motion to the City Council in June exploring, quote, criminal penalties, rights of victims to bring private civil actions and cost recovery to the city, he tweeted. And I mean, I think that, you know, that's a good thing. I think people should be held accountable for the things that they do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, especially when it's as severe as what these Karens are doing, because like I said, we could be talking about the matter of life or death. I mean, obviously being a cop is a hard job. It's not easy. I don't think really anybody is saying that. But I mean, you get somebody who's like really tensed up by the situation and you don't know how they're going to react because some Karen called, you know, and, and some guy was just standing outside of the food st store. You know what I'm saying? It's just ridiculous how this goes and it, it's unnecessary. And yeah, it needs to be addressed because they are really breaking the law when they do this. I mean, and, and not even just the fact that they're breaking the law. I think it's just immoral in the first place because, you know, all these police forces are funded by taxpayer money. And I, I find it really, really disheartening 
that my tax money could be going to a situation that never should have been called in on. When there's domestic disputes going on in houses all the time, when there's child abuse out there, when people are getting murdered, when all kinds of crazy things are out there happening, and some fucking Karen decides to take it upon herself to harass somebody because he's waiting on his ride outside of Target, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't really think that that's necessary, and once again, I find it disheartening that my tax money can go to a situation like that because some Karen decided to get a, 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 a stick up her ass. I mean, we live in kind of a messed up world, I understand that, but I mean, it, it's just unnecessary, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I think we do need to bring a stop to it. This should carry some sort of penalty. Big fine, jail time, something. Like, you gotta teach people their lessons, man. In 2019, the City Commission in Grand Rapids, Michigan held a public hearing on a, quote, proposed human rights ordinance criminalizing racially motivated calls to 911 with a fine of up to $500. In 2018, former New York State Senator Jesse Hamilton proposed a bill after a woman called 911 on him for campaigning that would require the local district attorney to investigate these instances as hate crimes. If the calls were deemed racially motivated, a number of consequences such as fines, sensitivity training, or jail time would be issued. I mean, I'm not sure if sensitivity training would fix a Karen, if we're being honest, because, you know, we're talking about 43 years of built-up hate and, and, and just self-loathing kind of, you know, taken action. Sensitivity is kind of something that they severely lack. They don't realize, uh, you know, that other people are human beings too. They're not just NPCs in Skyrim, you know? We're not playing a big Bethesda RPG here, unless, you know, the theory is true and we all kind of just live in a simulation, but I mean, I don't think they give a shit about sensitivity training. I mean, you're going to walk up to a Karen and be like, ma'am, uh, turn around, you're going to sensitivity training. You think they're going to sit there and deal with that? No, of course not. And even if they did, it's not like they're probably going to even learn anything. They're probably just going to purposely block everything they're hearing out because, I mean, they're Karens. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, they're just hateful and spiteful human beings. They just got hate in their heart for other people. And they don't care about what happens to other people. You know, you think Karens really give a shit if, you know, they call the police on a kid for selling candy outside of the store and act like their life is being threatened by some armed robber with a gun, just pulling out the minigun or something? You, you think that if that little kid got shot or killed, that some Karen is going to sit there and feel really bad about it? I mean, maybe after the fact, but if they saw that happen, they wouldn't feel bad until the consequences started rolling in for what they had done. Karens don't care about other people, man. They don't care what they say. They don't care what they do. They don't care how they act. None of that is of importance to a Karen. So, I mean, I am glad to see the Karen Act getting uh, proposed. I'm sure it'll probably get passed, honestly, because it, it really does make sense as a law. But, I mean, we're just, we're talking about people who just simply don't care about the law as is. Like it already says, it's already illegal, even up to a felony in some states, to false report things to the police and make false emergency calls. But yet you still see Karens in mass out here just doing it. They, they're not worried about that stuff, man. And that's what kind of worries me about this bill. I mean, sure, they may be forced to face some consequences, but we're talking about, you know, a very serious situation and they already don't care about that. So why honestly are they going to care about this? I mean, I hope at the end of the day that this works. I hope that this Karen Act gets passed and, you know, we see this stuff start, start to slow down until it just stops. But I mean, am I totally convinced that it'll happen? I mean, probably not, considering what all's been going on. So, with all that being said, though, thank you guys for watching the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at SubtoOptimus. Make sure to check out ShopOpti down below. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus, voting for the Karen Act, and signing out.